Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders and other companies. There are links below for you to click on. When you do that and place an order, I do receive a small commission. That's at no cost to you and thank you so much for all your support. So we're going to work with the Sprinkle and Grow die set from the Out and About collection in this video. And it's just so pretty. Just so pretty. I love the little flowers and especially the watering can. I don't have um, a die set that has watering can, so I was happy to have this. I am using the postage um, postage stamps. What a, let me just get this out here. The, post, the nested postage labels and tags is what I'm using. It's not a stamp. Um, so I'm using the second set from the outside to do this card right here. I always like to use, you know, different things uh, for the backgrounds, and this is what I came up with. Let's go ahead and start to put our flowers together here. So we've, I've got this little one here that sits on the outside of a flower. That's what I used for this one. And this one with the little round circle I used for this little flower right here. And then we'll put everything in the watering can. So let's go ahead and get these together. So I did some dark blue, light blue, pink, orange, you know, just an array of pretty colors. Use whatever cardstock and colors that you'd like. And these two right here, I'm going to put the greenery on the outside on this one. I did these in pink. just like that. Cute. We'll get all our flowers together. Then I did one in a light green stem, one in a dark green stem, and I'm going to use pink and orange, and then here is the die for that, and you get the center, and I'm just alternating the color, and so I use this one for that. Okay, and then we just did that one, and we did that one. Cute. So let's go ahead and put these together. And what we have to do is decorate our watering can. And now I'll put a dot of glue in the centers. And I'll pick up the pink dot for the orange flower and the orange dot for the pink flower. You can use a sequence, you could use a gem, you know, just you could use whatever you want on the inside, but I thought that that would be fun. Now let's put this little guy together right here. And I have some greenery. And I absolutely fell in love with the grass for whatever reason, I don't know. That's there. A couple of little greeneries here in light and dark um, green, and then this also. What I'm thinking to do with these is um, just like put them together. That's what I want to do. So let's see how we can put these in our watering can when we get that ready to go. Just like that. And then I'll do light on one side and dark on the other. And for right now, I'm going to leave these two separate. So I've used, of course, every single die. Let's put our watering can together. So cute. I did this from the green um, glitter cardstock, and then I did the rest of it from mirrored gold. And I always get a little nervous using liquid glue with mirror gold because it can smush. But I think we're going to be okay. I wanted that green to show through there. I thought that would be pretty. But it does take it a hot minute to dry on the um, on the glitter cardstock. So we'll put that there. Now uh, the handle right here, I believe it go it, it likes to come out here, right there, and then right there, just a little handle. And this way we could tuck things in on either side. So I think that'll be good. just like that. And I want that little bit of green to show. Stick that right there. And now we have nice little landing places right here for our handle. 
and this will glue onto the back so it should be a lot easier than the the glitter right so that just kind of goes under there see that's just not sticking yet there we go okay now this little piece is like uh, the connector here and again this will go onto the back and I am going to put just a little teeny bit of glue right there put a little bit extra here and I'm going to put this down like this ah! and then me and this handle okay we're going to wait on that and then I'm going to pick this up like that okay so isn't that cute Let's put a little bit more glue on here since I've had it all over the place. That right there. Now, I'm going to break away for a minute and let this dry, and I'll be right back. Well, actually, let's go ahead and put our base of the card together. Okay, let's let that dry over there. Let me clean my glue mess up. There we go. Just a little alcohol in that spray bottle. I decided to use the Miss You from my collection of sentiments. I'm kind of having fun using up what I've already made. Use whatever sentiment you'd like. You could do sending hugs, you know, anything. So um, my base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It's a side folding card. This will also work on the top folding card. Um, all of my designs, most everybody's designs always do. Uh, and the top folding is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. I love that this is stitched. Makes a fun, different background, right? And with all of these cards, I've tried to use um, a different background with each. The next video that I do, which will be my last one in this collection, I didn't realize they were going to send me the entire collection, um, but it will be of the Mushroom Mansion, which is my absolute favorite. Uh, and I will then show you all the cards that we have made in this pretty collection. So we'll have a little reveal there, right? So let's put the Miss You right here. And I think... I think I just want to glue that down flat this time. I've been popping things up a lot. We'll just glue this down flat. A little something different, right? And um, I did this with a glimmer plate a long, long, long time ago. Just like that. Okay? Cute. And I just thought I would use the pink. This is actually the reverse foil, as you see the white sitting on the foil. So, um, But I, I didn't want to use the white. I'll show you. I didn't want to use one that was just white, like let's say thank you, because the white just um, melts into the white uh, base right here. So I needed to use my reverse foil on that. Came out really cute. And let's see, how are we doing? I think we're doing pretty good there. Look at that. Okay, now this I do want to pop up. So let's get some foam. I'll put a couple here in the center. And let's see, I'll put one here. I think I'll put one down here too, just for some stability. Move it up, okay. Let's make sure we can't see that, right? No, we cannot. That worked. I thought maybe I was to the edge a little bit too much there. So I'm going to just kind of put this right here, just like so, okay? And now we can just put our flowers in and have fun with that. And I'm not sure if we're going to pop any up. Maybe if anything this. Let's just look. Oh, see, I have my foam there, so be careful with that. You know, um, sometimes you have to clip the stems. I just want things to cross, come down like that. I'm thinking I'm going to pop those up with a little dot. 
We could bring this one. See, now this one needs trimmed. I can see it sticking out right there. And I kind of want to feed it into this one too. And I want that to cross over like that. Okay, I kind of kind of have it in my head the way I want it. Or the way I'm going to try to do it. Just use a small one here. Am I in camera? Yeah. <laughs> what a time to think about that, right? A little late. <laughs> I'm going to put this one taller. And then this one down. Yeah, so we'll... I love... It. I'll tell you guys, I love these scissors. A little overkill for just this little bit, but I really do love the spring in them. Simon was right. He always is. I have to admit... I'm going to bring that right there, just like that. Let's see, where to put this one, this little guy? Let's bring that one over this way. And I want it to kind of stick out that way, so let's cut just a teeny weeny bit of it off there. And yeah, let's see if we can get a full size. Will it show? No. Well, yeah, a little bit it does. Okay, we don't want that. Right. So, ooh, I don't want to get any kind of sticky on those scissors. I'll just use these. I'm going to just slice that in half. Put these down. There. And we're going to bring this in here and put that right out there. Cute! And let's see. Let's put this little guy coming this way. Yeah, that's good. want it cascading out of my watering can. There, just like that. And then the orange one, I kind of want that orange one right in there. So I don't know if I'll have to give that stem a little snip. Maybe not. Maybe so. <laughs> just easier. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Get a little dot in the middle. Cute, cute, cute. Now, let's add some greenery. So that can go back in here. And now the greenery I want, definitely I want glued down. Even if it's just sitting over top of the flowers. Put it behind there. That'll hold it. Good. Just a watering can full of fun, right? Let's bring this one in. Let's see. Ooh, I like it there. In there. In there. Cute. Now let's see about these two little pieces. I might even put one coming out here. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Oh, I need that right there. And that one might go over top of it there at the bottom or out to the side. I'm not sure yet. Aren't these dyes fun? Fast and fun. Right there. And let's say, oh yes, no, it's got to go right in here. So, let's see, maybe down through here. 
Oh, that looks cute. Okay, that's exactly where it's going. bring this out here. Let's glue this down to the base. Just like so. Oh my word. That is so cute. What a fun little set. Okay, here we are. This is Sprinkle and Grow from the Out and About collection. I hope you love my little flower collection there. Cute. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.